Hello everyone. I apologize for the lack of uploads lately. I have been very busy, but I wanted to give a, get a video out to you guys that is, again, not really metal related, uh, but I was recently alerted to the passing of someone that was very influential and entertaining to me as a kid, uh, that being the, the person you see pictured here. Uh, I, I assume that many of you don't know who he is, or, or maybe all of you, uh, but he is commonly referred to as the godfather of YouTube, which is, of course, the medium that allows me to communicate with you guys. Uh, so I thought it would be appropriate to commemorate him on this channel, uh, the man being Len Sella of Moron Movies and more Moron Movies fame. Uh, fame might not be the correct word, uh, but the the just to tell you about what Moron Movies is, uh, back in the 70s and 80s, early 80s, he, he became known for his own brand of sketch comedy where it would be little bite-sized sketches that are not unlike what you would see on, say, TikTok, uh, but his format was to um, show you the title of the sketch with, like, refrigerator magnets or just little, you know, letters against a blue frame and uh, then present you the sketch, which is usually just him uh, communicating directly with you uh, or, or and interacting with uh, badly done props. Uh, but it is his own specific blend of absurdist comedy that if you were as young as I was when you rented these movies, um, you you would find them hysterical. And even now, I, I, I value them for different reasons because as, as you watch the video, you get, a, you get more of an idea based on what he's presenting to you, who he is and how he thinks. And yes, there is a, a lot of dumb comedy to be had here, uh, but uh, it's hard not to pick up on his views on humanity based on what you're seeing. But he made these these videos and got them to be played in a theater in Pennsylvania. And they became so infamous that even people like Johnny Carson got word of him. And uh, Johnny Carson actually got him on his show. And then he managed to get distribution for these uh, home movie quality sketch comedy bits. Uh, to the point where he, he he was able to get it in Blockbuster Video, which is where I would rent over and over the, the Moron Movies videos. Um, my, myself and my friend at the time, Jimmy, would rent this and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. And we would laugh hysterically at both of them. Uh, two of my, well, they're both my, some of my favorite shit, uh, Moron Movies and, that, and Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Of course, on completely opposite ends of the comedy spectrum, but between both of those, you know, you have something that's going to be hysterical for the, the average nine-year-old at the time. And uh, I, by, by nine or ten or however old I was, I was already uh, attuned to the uh, DIY horror stuff that was coming out at the time, uh, such as this movie, 555. And this is a little bit of a detour, but I was already attracted to that I'm going to go ahead and shoot with a fucking camcorder my own movie, and, you know, I don't care if I don't have the funding. I'm going to make this shit, and I'm going to get it heard. I'm going to get it watched. Uh, so I had already, you know, been <coughs> renting movies like Woodchipper Massacre and, like, horrible shit like that. Uh, but I I was attuned to that, that do-it-yourself vibe. And uh, so I was into DIY horror, and there, here's an example of DIY comedy. And, of course, I ran headfirst into it. Uh, even as a kid, I was into the idea of uh, going against the, the mainstream content that was cluttering everything and wanting to see individual voices get heard. Uh, for, for me, I had always, I don't, I don't know why, but I had always picked up on the idea that uh, the difficulty of getting your voice heard validates your message. I, as, even as a kid, I, I had, was able to recognize that a majority of what is commonly accepted by people is mostly bullshit, which is what drew me to metal as well. Uh, and given that he had to have a, a stroke of luck, get him to the point where I could rent his movies in Blockbuster, I was excited about this. And uh, I lost touch with what he had been doing, but uh, recently, uh, within the last like 10 or so years, was able to track him down thanks to social media and as, as you guys can see in some of my videos, I, I am a collector of of one sheets, uh, posters, you know, horror movie posters, only the theatrical ones, whatever was actual uh, part of the actual media, uh, not a reproduction. That's that's my my shit. And I had asked him if he had any of that 
memorabilia from from moron movies and uh he sold me two of the only posters he had as well as a t-shirt and i still have the box that it came in with his signature on it and that's one of my favorite possessions not what i got from him but his actual signature uh because if you if you would have told me when i was a kid renting these movies that i would be able to connect with him uh even though he's a nobody he he was that reputable to me uh but he his life was tragically cut short on Christmas Eve last year when he was tragically hit by a car while while just walking outside. Uh, and uh, he was still, you know, he was 86, but he was he was spry. He was still making content and he was excited about the content that he was putting out, even though it had become more and more sparse as he aged. Uh, but I'm sure he had more stuff to deliver. So it is, it is tragic. Uh, but. Uh, I wanted to make a video to, to kind of celebrate him because this uh, the the idea of appreciating uh, an unfunded voice and uh, and uh, a voice that is not going to be catching on uh, being caught on by by the masses that was something that was always uh, something I was I was kind of attuned to and uh, that's part of why I criticize a lot of what I'm hearing in metal now. Uh, obviously, I'm going to criticize something if the arrangement is bad, if the songwriting is bad. Uh, but the main criticism I have is I'm not hearing the artist. And the Moron movies material is is bad. It's organically, you know, it's it's objectively bad. Uh, but it's him. It's his voice. And I, I'm not going to forget that. Uh, most of what I'm hearing in metal is entirely forgettable because... There's no voice to it. I'm not hearing the artist. Uh, I, I would much rather hear a very bad record done by someone with an individual voice than a very well-constructed technically record, like something like Archspire, uh, that has no character to it. Uh, granted, all that stuff has terrible songwriting, but uh, if, if you know what I'm saying, like that the technical aspects of their skill is fully on display. This is objectively bad filmmaking. What I do is uh, objectively bad. You know, I don't care about lighting or any of that, but his his voice is being presented. It, and if you were to watch more on movies, more and more on movies, any of his output, uh, the, it can't be replicated. And that that's what I miss about, about metal. And that's what I really want to see. Uh, but... This is an example of, of a comedian that managed to break through. And metal used to be about breaking through. Now that everybody can put out whatever they want and have it be immediately heard online, the idea of breaking through isn't really that tangible. Uh, I'm currently struggling with it now for, for getting shows. Um, uh, right now, all the venues I used to play at are, if you want to get a show, you have to belong, uh, you have to be backed by PR. And that never used to be a thing. And now for uh, even lowest tier metal bands, they all have like this show is booked by X and X Productions. It's like, well, when did this fucking happen? Uh, so the idea of breaking through, I, it's still the potential is there, but it's getting more and more frustrating as as uh, things keep in, continuing to get inundated. Uh, but uh this is just an uh, this is just an example of going against the grain, and uh, if you were to watch it, it's all on YouTube. You can watch more on movies. You can watch more and more on movies. I encourage you to do so uh, just for the experience. Uh, but it, it's it's uniquely his, and uh, I'm 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 understanding now as I get older just how important it was that he was able to break through and how monumental it was. So uh, so yeah. Thanks for all the entertainment, Len. Uh, King Dong himself. Definitely check out his shit if, uh, if you want to just spend a few minutes laughing at, at uh, absurd nonsense. Um, I think that uh, at, at minimum, you'll find it to be pretty unforgettable. So thanks for watching.